We've already talked about how uh, we can go a long way to reducing the effects of random error if we take repeated readings of the same thing, then average them, and we can work out by looking at the range of those repeated readings, the uncertainty of our final um, average value. It's a couple of steps to go through before we get there. So here I have five trials of measuring the voltage across a power supply. Um, and you'll learn more about that when you get to do the electricity unit, but you've probably come across it in high school. So five readings, you can, I'm sure, do the maths to work out what the average value of these are, and it is 1.56 volts. Now there are some uh, more sophisticated ways of dealing with uncertainties than what I'm going to show you here, um, but to first order, we can estimate the uncertainty of one of the individual readings, a single reading, by just looking at the range of those values and saying, well, if I look at the maximum minus the minimum, so the range of values, and cut it in half, I can pretty, be pretty sure that any individual measurement that I take will lie half of the range on one side, between half of the range on one side and half of the range on the other. I'm just going to put that in words. So just to draw you a little picture here of what that looks like, just say, here's our scale, just say our average value is here, our minimum is here, and our maximum is here. That distance or that amount there is the range. And any individual reading that we take, either the ones we've taken or the ones we might take in the future, um, is likely to um, lie within um, that range there. And that's essentially what we've just written there for the uncertainty of an individual reading. It's important to note that um, this value that you calculate here so the half range is not always going to be the same as your instrumental uncertainty. And that's because there could be other things at play which are causing um, additional random uncertainties like we've discussed before. So if you go back and look at our data here, the range of our data, the maximum minus the minimum, is 1.59 minus 1.53, which is 0 0.06 volts. And so half the range is 0 0.03 volts. I'm going to take that number and put it up here and say, just noting here, that any individual, looks from our data, that any individual um, readings would have an uncertainty of 0.03. And that kind of supersedes any estimate you might have made based on what you might expect from the scale of your me measurement instrument, so in this case the voltmeter. So that gives us the uncertainty for a single reading. Now we want to look at what is the uncertainty of our average value. The really important thing to note here is that if we take lots of readings, we want to make sure, or we're definitely going to get a smaller uncertainty if we've taken lots and lots of readings. Otherwise, what is the point of taking all those readings? So the important point here is that the more readings means we should get a smaller uncertainty for that average value. And so what we do, instead of doing what we um, did up here, where we took the uncertainty of a single reading, what we're going to do is say that the uncertainty of the average value is the same as that half range, but then we're going to divide it by the square root of the number of readings that we took. And this means that the more readings we take, the smaller that uncertainty is. 
just going to add back up here that this equals, we often call it delta V, that delta means a change in, it's the uncertainty. And so I'll just write the same thing down here. Take the change in, or the uncertainty in the average voltage is one half times 0 0.06 divided by the square root of 5 and that gives us 0 0.0134 volts. Okay, so um, that's very nice. Our average value would be uh, 1.56 uh, plus or minus 0 0.0134 except do you remember we should never quote uncertainties to more than one significant figure and because we should always round up this becomes 0.02 volts and so if I take that over here my final answer I'll just write it down here again so V would equal 1.56 plus or minus 0.02 which you'll notice is smaller than for an individual measurement, which is what we like to see.